Today at Blade HQ, we're looking at a whole bunch of zero tolerance knives. They're coming out with these cool designs that are super neat, but every now and then it's like, this is their show knife. And to me, this is the ultimate flex of muscle, for sure. What is up guys? Today at Blade HQ, we're looking at a whole bunch of zero tolerance knives. I'm Ben. I'm Zach. And? I'm Matthew. Matthew, why are you on the show today? I am a big fan of zero tolerance knives. I like the designs and um, I really like the way that they're put together. They are super high quality knives across the board. Beautiful. Matthew is also the video editor. You know him because you've watched Knife Banter. I'm just gonna give Matthew a round of applause. <laughs> Don't do it, no. I said no! Very good, Zach. Let's dive into the first set of ZT knives here. What have we got? All right, so what we have here is actually kind of a little family and it kicks off with the 0450 or the 450, whichever sure. way you like to say it. I know there's variants. And uh, all four of these knives, S35 VN steel blade, uh, some are carbon, some are tie. What are the rest of the names on these knives here? Matthew? So this one you've got is the 450. Right. I, I usually leave off the first zero because they all have a first zero. Yeah. So that's the 450, this one right here. Can you show those next to each other? Sure, Let's yeah. So this is the 450 CF underneath the 450. Just means carbon fiber. Um, here we've got the 452. This is the 450's larger brother. This is actually the 452 CF, right. excuse me. Um, so there you have it. And uh, this is the 460, another Sinkovich design. So we said this is a family. Why is this a family here? So I would classify kind of the 450 and the 452 as one family. And uh, the 460 is actually getting a larger brother. This is the 0462. Last year we released a model called the 0460, which was a smaller knife as you can see here at, at the top. So all Dmitry Sienkiewicz designs. Yep. Now the thing you gotta know about ZT is they use premium materials. So you're looking at titanium, you're looking at carbon fiber. All of those knives are what, S35VN? S35VN. Correct. So premium materials and you're gonna pay a premium price. Uh, zero tolerance knives don't come in under... No, so the, actually these ones are, are, aren't too bad. So okay. you're, you're looking Let's... at, for the smaller guys, the smaller three, right around 180. Okay. And then for the bigger guy, about 220. Okay. So you definitely start to pay once you get sure. bigger. Sure, sure. But when you think about, I mean, the, the the proof's in the pudding, proof's in the name, zero tolerance, right? Yep. They're, they're very tight tolerance knives, all made in the USA. Pretty fair price, I think, for the materials. Yeah. Nice. But definitely a couple bucks, right? Nice. <laughs> so who else is designing for zero tolerance? So uh, next up is yeah, we the got, Hinder designs, Yeah, we got the, some Hinder designs rolling. And this one is the... 562 carbon fiber CF. That's correct. Yeah, yeah. so this yes. is something, yeah, this is something with <laughs> ZT guys that this is a big thing with me is I'm horrible with numbers. Like good with names, As horrible with numbers. Yeah. So I'm, I'm gonna stutter a little bit with these. I'm gonna apologize right out the gate. Which, <laughs> which let's be honest, like I like names on knives yeah. personally. It just helps yeah. me remember. It helps me remember. I feel like these are sophisticated beyond my yeah. my capacity. Yeah, personally. I'm just a, I'm just a grunt with the knife right now. <laughs> me, I don't I don't mind the numbers. I actually think they're easier to remember a lot of times than names because names Perfect. you have to remember how they're spelled. Oh yeah, see I don't worry about that. That's my forte, man. Yeah. Is it? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, good Second for you. place in the spelling bee. But, well. Oh okay. But, Back to the 562 CF, um, we've got uh, the blade steel on this is 20 CV. Yep. Um, and this is actually, they're moving all their knife steel to 20 CV this yeah, coming year, right? That's what they said steel. at SHOT Show. Pretty yeah. exciting. So that's pretty cool. Um, as a ZT guy, how do you feel about that? I mean, I like 20 CV. It's a really, I mean, I would say it's one of the best at edge retention and uh, it's got good corrosion resistance. Um, I think another cool thing with that is that it's a US based steel. It is, right? it's crucible. Which is, uh, yeah. uh, ZT's big, really big on, right? Yeah, so. absolutely. That's kind of their, their thing is like the uh, made in the USA thing. Yeah, totally. Nice. Yeah. So Hinderer's knives, if you're familiar with his factory customs, they all have the lock bar stabilizer, which they've implemented here. They've got the lock bar insert, all of that jazz. The next one as well. Fun story on that one actually. Ooh, it has an over travel stop on the back here. And okay. it's also got an over travel stop in the um, lock bar insert. So it's got two over travel stops. So you would have to like break your thumb trying to move that lock bar over. That's Should awesome. we try it? <laughs> I don't know. You want to? No, that's that's cool. Interesting. Like you said, overbuilt. Overbuilt. Yep. Totally overbuilt. Yep. And that's I kind like of their that. motto, isn't it? The yep. Yeah. Over built like built like a tank. Built like a tank. Right. Say. It's like their yeah. thing. Yeah. yeah. Okay. What's the other hinder we're looking at? This is the uh, 392. So this one's a limited edition one. Um, this is actually from Austin over at Epic Snuggle Bunny. We have a couple of his knives on the table, so go check out his channel, Epic Snuggle Bunny. This one is was a really popular one, and um, 
It's also got the lock bar over travel. Why did I call it that? It's the lock bar stabilizer. Thank you, Stabil lock bar stabilizer. And I'm the, a big fan. <laughs> yeah. <Are> you? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. I actually lock don't know. I, I don't own a single ZT. It doesn't pass the patented finger it's test. Good, yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, exactly. They, they don't make a single knife under three inches from what I've seen so far. Here, show us. Um, show us the, the finger test. The patented Ben finger test yeah. is can I get my finger to the end of that knife? And uh, on not a single one of these can I do that. And basically if it's under, if it's over three inches, I don't buy them. So I think that's an indicator of their overall strategy. Um, don't sell knives to Ben, for one, because he's a <laughs> sucker. And two, they're building knives that are overbuilt for folks that are hard using their knives. They need a longer blade. I don't need a, a longer blade. Uh, I'm a glorified paper pusher here at Blade HQ, and uh, just don't need it. So, um, yeah, it doesn't pass my test. No. But yeah. here's the thing that I like about the longer blade. It usually gives you a longer handle, which sure. is more to hang on to, which personally I like. Um, but anyways, the reason uh, we have this knife on the table is because there's a new one coming out, the 393, very similar to this one. They're both based off of the Hinderer Eclipse. We've taken the, uh, the O392 model, which is based on Rick's Eclipse, and then we've added these, these G10 textured overlays that are a lot like his new dagger model. Right, yeah. The, uh, the Maximus. Now is that going to be kind of one of these limited run exclusive models? No, or so that one's going to be in the line. That one's going to be in the lineup. Cool. This one was limited and... Solid. Uh, if you want one, it's too bad it's gone. Because so that's something ZT does quite a bit. They do, yeah. Is they, they will release these kind of limited runs and it's like, yeah, if you missed it, you missed it. Yeah, yep. so. and we have a couple others from Austin that were limited runs. Totally. And we'll talk about those in a minute. Yep, guys, cool. we're gonna go to a quick commercial break. We'll be back in just a second. Hey guys, if you're watching the video, chances are you like uh, ZT knives. And if you do, we have a discontinued sale going on right now at BladeHQ.com. We've got some really awesome knives like this 620 or this 909. So make sure to get on BladeHQ.com and check them out. All right, guys, and we are back from commercial break. One thing we failed to mention is there is a deep carry pocket clip for the 0450 series. Now, the 0450, I think, is a fantastic knife, except it has a non-deep carry clip, which some people don't mind. I personally mind, so you can throw this deep carry clip from... Who makes these? MXG Gear is MXG who makes Gear. them, yeah. And we've got them in a couple Solid. different uh, flavors, so whatever flavor you like best. Nice. Okay, let's dive yeah. into ZT history here for a minute. We're going to jump into the O350. Now, the funny thing about this one is it is a Ken Onion design. It's got speed safe in it, so it opens. It is an assisted opener. Uh, just hit the uh, flipper right there. It opens right up. Now, here's the thing about Ken Onion, and we're trying to get the story from Ken. Ken's at the dentist right now. We're waiting for, <laughs> a, for a text from him. So if the text comes in, we'll share it with you guys. But uh, from what I understand, Ken Onion kind of came up with the idea of zero tolerance knives, pitched it to Kershaw, ZT, uh, came out of that idea. So the initial run of zero tolerance knives was all Ken Onion knives. So the 350, very well built, overbuilt. And uh, this is kind of indicative of where they started to me. Um, very chunky, overbuilt knives. Take a look at that liner lock. I mean, it's, oh, it's yeah. enormous. Compared it's a to serious the... liner lock. Yeah. Uh, Four-way re reversible pocket clip, G10 handle scales. So this was designed as an American-made, beefy brand, and the 350 is still in the line from Ken Onion and Zero Tolerance knives. Now, in, in the past, probably two years, they've sort of evolved into the 0450, some slimmer stuff. It's still overbuilt. It's really well well-built stuff, but this, to me, is where ZT started, and it's pretty darn cool to see that the evolution of where they've come from. So totally. What's the next one on the list? Uh, next up, we've got the uh, 0055. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh -oh. 55. <laughs> um, and this one's actually really interesting. I'll actually show it before I open it. It's got this uh, SLT tab here. Which we just learned was spring-loaded tab. Spring-loaded tab yeah, here. I like yeah, to yeah, call yeah. it a sneaky little tab. Sneaky, sneaky little, little tab. tab. <laughs> and you just pull that back, and then boom, it comes right out. And then cool on, the, thing. on the back side, the yeah. tab's out of the road, which yeah, is, which is really Yeah, it totally great. disappears yeah. into the mechanism, which totally. is nice. Yeah. So a really neat knife, and this one's got uh, S35VN it does. Uh, for the blade steel. And it's right hand, left handed, however you want to carry it. Look at that backspacer. Yeah. Show, yeah. show those good people that backspacer. backspacer. Ooh, look at that. It's your That's, favorite color. I know. I, <laughs> it's the, the three inch blade test as well as the is it anodized blue. Then well, I, it, then failed, I like it. it failed the three inch test. I know, but, but it's got that anodization it's, yeah, that it's I... Blue. Uh, it's so tempting. Yeah. <laughs> this, I, I see this one as pretty unique in ZT's lineup in that it's like... 
it's got all these really sharp lines and sure. angles on it, whereas all the rest are kind of, I mean, some of them are sharp, but more of them are like contoured, I would say. And this yeah. one's just straight up sharp. And this one's a Sacchini design, isn't it? Or how do you say his name? Ooh, great. great. Let's just go with GTC. It's GTC. GTC. No. There it is. What GTC. is it? Gustavo T. Yeah, I cannot, I don't, I don't know how to say his last name. I've sorry, never, I've never sorry, learned Gustavo. it. Apologize. Anyways. But yeah, this is one of his designs. I think that's where that unique blade shape comes from. Probably. And this is something that ZT does, is they work with, I mean, if we've seen on the table, they work with a lot of, they do some stuff in house. But they do work with a lot of custom um, guys as well, which is really neat. Yeah, for sure. Solid. What's next? Next up is the 850. And uh, this is a collaboration between Todd Rexford and Dmitry Sinkovich. Sinkovich designed these, uh, the 450, the 452, and the 460. Um, this one's an interesting knife. Um, it's got this whole six shooter theme. If you can see that there, it's got six shooter, six shooter, six shooter. This the backspacer, backspacer yeah. yeah. That's a six shooter yeah. as well. So <laughs> it's awesome. kind of executed to like the finer details of yeah. the knife, which is really if nice. You show the backspacer too at this angle. At uh, what right. angle? Oh, may I? Yeah, go ahead. Thank you. Um, that angle right there, it almost looks like the barrel of a gun. Yeah, yeah for which sure. It's pretty darn cool. Beautiful blue twill carbon fiber on this one. Yep. Lock bar insert. You've got milled titanium. Again, everything that ZT does. It's the finest. It's exquisite. And that's yeah. got a S, uh, the it's 20, 20 CV, CV yep. 20 CV blade on that. So one thing about zero tolerance that they have a tendency to do, they work with a <laughs> limited number of designers. You got in their Kershaw line, they've got a few designers. In their ZT line, they've got even fewer designers. You've got some companies like CRKT, their lineup of designers is like 40 deep. Zero tolerance is what? Six maybe, yeah, probably right around six there, plus I think. their house designs. This one is an R.J. Martin design, and this one is actually from Epic Snuggle Bunnies collection as well. It is. Um, what is unique about this particular one? So it's you can't buy it now, but no. what can you buy in the future? So in the future, this one is the 606 CF. Um, in the future, they're coming out with near future, I should say, they're coming out with the 609, which is essentially a scaled down version of this. This is the uh, 0609. But it's also got this pivotless pivot. That's really the cool thing sure. about this one is that uh, if you look at it, you can actually see right through the pivot, which is really neat. Um, kind of the downside to that, though, is that in order to have this, you need like a, a special $25 tool. Exactly. You yeah. need a special yeah. tool yeah. in you order to tool. take your knife apart, which. It's a well designed tool. It's really neat. It is. Because when I yeah, saw it, it shot, I was actually worried about it being two little pieces, but it's got like this really neat like magnetic function to yep. it. It's 25 bucks. Um, sure. But it does give you this really neat uh, design. Yeah. And that's, I think this is a perfect case study in zero tolerance design because they don't really care if you need an extra tool. It looks cool, so we're doing it. Yeah. And I think you can see that in, in some of their design sense is if it looks cool, if it functions well, we're going to do it. It's kind of like, why did we go to the moon? Because we could. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Like, totally. that's, that's kind of zero tolerance's attitude is like, <laughs> why did we, like, make a blade with two different blade steels because we could. Yeah, it's in, yeah. in some ways it's a it's flexing creative and manufacturing muscle. Absolutely. Yeah. Very nice. Next on the list, guys, actually before Whoa. we go into this one, I'm just going to tease it. This is not so design. We're going to do a quick mailbag. Mailbag. Glad you caught it. That's <laughs> right, man. Can't forget the mailbag. <laughs> uh, one of the comments is I wasn't sure if this was Zach or Lucas Burnley at first <laughs> from a previous video. <laughs> Uh, Zach and Lucas do have a likeness. I'm not gonna lie, so at SHOT Show I was reviewing a lot of the comments, making yeah. sure I was hearing you guys' feedback so we could try to make each successive video better. Yeah. And I wasn't getting the whole twin thing, the jokes, where this came, comment came from. And then I watched the video like later, I watched the whole thing, and I was like, oh wow, okay, yeah, I see it now. <laughs> you could have the same mother. Yeah, maybe, possible. Yeah. <laughs> uh, a lot of comments about Zach. Zach is growing on me, says my life on Earth. Uh, even with the... Uh, wheelhouse comment he makes all the time. I guess that's a thing. I guess. I don't know where that came from, but I know I say it once or twice at shot. Okay, so... I thought I thought they would have said something about great knife all the way around or right, something yeah, like yeah. that. Right, yeah, yeah. So the people who haven't watched this far in the video, they've already commented on your fingernails and your gross I'm, hands. I'm sure, <laughs> yes. I Tell apologize. Tell us about your hands today, Zach. So my hands look like this because last night I was rebuilding an engine, and you might see they're a little pink because I've scrubbed them and scrubbed them, and I cannot <laughs> get all the grease off, and You're I'm so sorry. <laughs> I was doing good work, just, you know. I love it. I love it. Zach is a, a real working man, and, and his hands often reflect that, so solid. Um, and then one last comment from Shmabi94. I was literally searching for an OTF comparison video a couple days ago. It's like you guys read my freaking mind. 
We do. That's that's what we do. In the creepiest way possible. Yeah, uh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Guys, let's dive into the next one. Matthew, the number on this one? 0220. I cannot get the numbers to save my life. No. Like, if there were a quiz at the end, no. Fail. Fail. Should, we, should we do a quiz at the end? <laughs> no, we're not. No. I think we should do, like, run down the line, I see can who get the can o get four, the most. I can get the 0450. Okay, well. The 0350. Okay, so then these are off the table, but then the rest, <laughs> no. you guys no, have no, to yeah. try name. This no? Is, this is the 0220. I think that'll be fun. <laughs> Did I get it right? 0220? It is 0 S35 EM blade. Yeah. Nice. See, I got some numbers there. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a titanium handle. You got a, that beautiful anodized backspacer. Um, lock bar insert, deep carry clip, Jens Anso design. This one was new for 2017, I believe, right? I think that's right, yeah. Very nice. Again, pulling on great designers with solid design sense. Yeah. Now this one's a left and right hand, right? It is, Is, yep. is that common across everything that I know from ZT, most of it allows a left or right hand carry? Is yeah. That you feel I, that as I think, well I think as, it kind as of somebody depends. who really I mean, loves look at, it? Look at for this sure. Guy. Yeah, I think, exactly. I think they're more limited knives. They kind of do like just a single carry option. Okay. Like for instance, the RJ Martin and the Triple Nine, which we'll talk about later. Right. Um, those only have like tip up right carry. Cool. But um, yeah. Cool. For Next most... on the list. Oh. 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 Go ahead. So, no, I was waiting for you. <laughs> I don't know what it's called, Matthew. I can't start it. Oh, okay. So it's the 801 tie. It's 801 tie. 801 tie. 801 tie. <laughs> Seriously, I, I cannot remember the name. I can tell you it's a Rexford design. Awkward video editor moment. <laughs> <laughs> so, again, titanium handle. What's the steel on this one, Zach? Uh, S35 VN, I believe, on that. Deep carry clip, lock bar insert. Uh, beautiful piece, Todd Rexford design. We should probably mention these all run on the KBT. Ball bearing system. What is a KVT most ball bearing of, system? Most of them. It's basically ways. IKBS for ZT Kershaw, right? Yeah, so if you take the knife apart, you get like this washer that essentially has like, I think six, maybe more, ball bearings inside of it. And so it keeps them all together. IKBS, everything is like, you open it up and you get like a trillion little balls falling over the place where, nice. whereas this, um, they're all contained and it's, it's nice and neat. It's a beautiful one. Yeah. I really like Todd Rexford designs. Um, nice. The 804 was actually. One of my favorite knife designs. Sadly, it was discontinued, but... Uh, Matthew bought yeah. two of them. Yeah. In <laughs> case I just, broke one. <laughs> they were discontinued but, and bought two, just in case. But Matthew, just here's the thing. Case. What are the real chances of you breaking one? Pretty slim. Okay, Pretty thank slim. you. <laughs> you have a problem. Maybe. <laughs> it's a good problem. Okay, so all of the ones we've looked at so far are designed by custom knife, men, knife, custom knife designers. The last one on the table is not the case no with this one. So it's the 0999. Nine. How, how many nines? All the yeah. nines. All the nines. <laughs> zero nine zero zero zero. I think triple nine is what <laughs> triple nine is referred to. Uh, this is a house design from ZT, and to me, this is the ultimate flex of muscle. For sure. Yeah. Um, you look at the blade, and it's actually got this line of copper right there, and that's because they've brazed together the swedge of D2 steel up here and CTS 204P steel right there, and you know. To flex even more, they've put a little carbon fiber insert right in the middle of it. It's crazy. It's insane, but it's kind of like, why did we do it? Because yeah. because they could. Why did we yeah. go to the moon? Right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yep. This is this is the ultimate moon piece to me. Yeah. Um, moon piece. I like that. <laughs> you're gonna have fun with that, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. Video editor Matthew. We'll see. <laughs> In my mind, this is an award. It is an award winner. Yeah. Um, but they knew going out with this one, it was an award winner. Yeah. And they're coming out with these cool designs that are super neat. But every now and then, it's like, this is their show knife. For sure. So. And they've done it previously with the triple seven. That was a huge favorite among yeah. knife enthusiasts. Then the triple eight. I don't know if it was quite as popular as the triple triple seven, but this one, you know, is just. I mean, it's gorgeous. Look at this thing. I don't know. I drool over this thing in my sleep, so <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't have admitted that. But there we go. You have to leave it in. Yep. I, have to, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, let us know which knife on the table you would take home with you. For me, it's a 0450. I knew you were going to say that. Yeah. It doesn't meet the bend test, no. but it's super slim in pocket. What about you, Matthew? It's triple nine. I, yeah, I think so. Nice. I don't know. It's just the most limited. Yeah. The cool. It's the most coolest. What about you, Zach? I think I have to go with that triple nine. It's hard. Yeah. It's like it's like really outside of where I normally yeah. live with my knives. Hold it. But there's just there's just something about like 
just the metallurgy nerdness of it. Nice. I, I just yeah. really like it. The construction and, is amazing. It's yeah. semi-integral construction. I exactly. Um, yeah, and I think that you guys were using the right word flex, right? Like sure. this knife has flex. And I don't, yeah, I just really like it. I really nice. like it. I think it's cool. Nice. Huge shout out to Epic Snuggle Bunny for loaning us three of his knives from his Epic collection. Uh, we'll have another video coming out for you guys next week. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Are we doing this? <laughs> So fancy. I know, I gotta get back to my no kit starter pack. <laughs> <laughs> that is important work. That is important work. Uh, Did you see it? I, me I Monday already it happened, time. Ben. And I was like, ah, oh, what's going on? He must be doing something important. So I walked through and I was looking at food pictures on Instagram. <laughs> uh.